Hey everybody, it's Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about how to share files or photos with your friends. Uh, this gives you an easy way if you've got a big file or photo, you don't necessarily want to email, to be able to post this online. It'll auto-generate emails to the people. It's very simple and of course free. First thing you want to do is obviously have a file. Um, I recommend you zip the files. It'll make them quicker to upload, quicker to download. Completely up to you. I use 7-zip for all my zipping, but you can use any zip utility. So I'm going to go ahead and zip this file. I've got test.pdf. So I'll say add to test.zip. So now you notice I've got my file. So this is the file that I want to share. Next, you'll want to open up Firefox or your web browser and go to wetransfer.com. Now, as you'll notice, it's a very simple user interface. There's really not a lot of bells and whistles, which is exactly what I was looking for. So now what you'll notice, we've got this box here in the middle. We've got add files. You can do a file of up to two gigs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add file. And I'm going to go to my test.zip. And I'm going to click open. You'll notice that's going to add it to the queue. I can continue to add additional files if I need to, or if that's the only one, I can stop here. Now I'm going to enter a friend's address. I'm going to go ahead and just use a, a temporary address. You'll see my email address here. And then what I can do is I can put a message. We'll say, you know, here is the file you were looking for. Don't have to put a message. It's available to you if you'd like to. Now what we're going to do is hit transfer. Now, as you'll notice, what's happening is the file is being uploaded from my machine to the WeTransfer website. I get a nice little progress bar. Very, very easy to understand what's happening. Once it's complete, it'll say 100% transfer complete. Now, the cool thing about WeTransfer is, number one, I'm going to receive an email letting me know that, in fact, the file has been uploaded and the email has been generated to the person I requested. In addition, an email is going to be sent when that person actually downloads the file. One thing to remember with WeTransfer, the file is good for 14 days, two weeks. So just make sure they get it before then. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check our email and we're going to see if we've received the email notification that everything has been sent. I'm going to hop over here to my email. Let's go into my inbox. You'll notice here's the email. I, I can scroll down here. You'll notice it's from WeTransfer. It's going to say files have been uploaded successfully. It'll let me know the recipients of those files what the file was, maybe I need to forward it to somebody, I need to download a copy for myself. In addition, I can actually get a link that I can use to pass out as well. So that's another way to share that file. So if I click on, what I'll do is let me hop over to the other account. So now here's what the actual receiving person is going to receive. So they'll say, we transfer. Here's the file you're looking for. Here's the message I put in. It's going to tell them who it was from. It's going to tell them what the file is. So they're going to go ahead and click the download button. As you're going to see, that's going to la launch us into WeTransfer. It's going to pass the information about the file I'm looking for. So it's going to say we're looking at it. And now it's going to say we're ready. Go ahead and click here. So I'm going to click Download. I'll just save it to my Downloads folder. Should take just a second. Pretty small file. Obviously, depending upon the file size, it could take a little bit longer. But as you can see, this, the speed seems fine. Hop into my Downloads. And there's our test. That's it. As you can see, it's very, very easy to use. You upload the file, you put their email address in, it sends the emails, notifies them that it's there, it lets you know once it's been downloaded. Um, it's a very, very cool service. Again, it's totally free, but uh, let me know if you have any questions and try it out. Thanks.